steel and concrete, and in fact most solids, expand when they're heated. Not by much, it's not very obvious, but their expansion is hugely important in the construction of all large bridges and buildings. Here I've set up a simple demonstration to show you how much of this iron rod will expand when it's heated. One end of the iron rod is fixed to the retort stand, but the other end is free to move. I've poked a pin through a straw and placed the pin under the iron rod so that if the iron rod moves in any way, it will roll on the pin and will be able to see its movement thanks to the straw. As the iron rod heats up, you can see that the straw is rotating, which means that the pin is rolling, which means that the metal is expanding. I can't even tell just by looking at the iron rod that it's expanding, because it's barely expanding at all. But the fact that it is expanding is really important. When I turn off the gas, the iron starts cooling down and it's now contracting. Again, I can't tell just by looking at it, but as it contracts, it's rolling the pin to the left and the straw is also rotating as a result. It turns out that if you heat a 20 meter long steel beam from 10 degrees Celsius to 50 degrees Celsius, it will expand by about one centimeter. This animation is not to scale. A same sized concrete beam will expand by about the same amount, but an aluminium beam will expand by double that if you heat it by the same amount. It's not much expansion, but it's important. And if you don't allow for it, a bridge, for example, made of steel and concrete will tear itself apart. Concrete and steel bridges are built with these gaps in them. They're called expansion gaps. The expansion gaps allow for movement when the concrete and steel expand and contract in hot and cold weather. Let's look at a simple single span concrete bridge that rests on two piers. To accommodate for expansion and contraction, the span is not actually attached to the piers, but is free to move between the expansion gaps. When it's hot, the concrete span expands and fills the gaps, and the gaps get smaller. When it's cold, the concrete contracts, that is, it shrinks, and the expansion gaps get bigger. Here, I've been hugely exaggerating the expansion and contraction. If the central span was bolted into the piers, the piers would be pushed outwards and pulled inwards as the span expanded and contracted, and cracks would form on the piers. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Heat Episode 3, Thermal Expansion. Using highly engaging visuals and outstanding explanations, the Shedding Light on Heat series teaches students everything that they need to know about heat including its effect on things and how it transfers from one thing to another. In episode 3, Thermal Expansion, we look at the fact that substances expand when they get hot and contract when they get cold, and we explain why they do. We look at how thermal expansion can be a real nuisance, but also how we can put thermal expansion to good use for the good of the world. You can read a full transcript of the video that has lots of screen grabs at www.liakoseducationalmedia.com where you can also download the student activity sheet. So visit us today.